morning youtubers welcome to bmw programming and encoding channel on youtube today we're working on a rolls royce coupe rr5 uh, model year 2013 and we're gonna do a register a battery exchange on this car all right uh, uh first of all the battery is there so what we do now we go here we basically look at vehicle data and then we say vehicle details here and then we go here and say vehicle equipment and then we um this is what we do here we, we put the name rolls royce rr5 bin blah blah i usually save these vehicle details for a reason and i should have read out the car with also easy and save the fa and back it up just for a reason but we can do a quick uh battery service function we we'll go here service function for the battery and then what we cut off the um we go here when we go to service function when we are like here our vehicle details are even here uh we go to vehicle management and then click here service function then we click here on body then we extend down all those things in in body and then we go down to voltage supply here then we look for register battery exchange all right so what we do now we usually run evaluate battery state of charge so we i choose that one first to read out the current state of battery in the car and the, this battery is an agm battery in this rolls royce agm stand for absorbing glass glass uh mat battery somehow the gas generated in these type of batteries they are absorbed by a glass mat material inside the battery and then quietly discharged all right so that is what that means it's not a lead acid battery and so on it says right here the advanced power management the advanced power management with the ibs determined the state of charge this car has navigation system like any unit high so it will have an intelligent battery sensor on it all right all right <clears throat> it said buy an open circuit voltage measurement in rest state all right so the advanced power management with the ibs determines or decides the state of charge by an open sorry by an open uh, circuit voltage measurement in the rest state and when when driving this takes place by balancing the charging and the discharge current of the battery all right the state of charge for the last five days are stored and the time spent within the range is stored in a charging status instagram all right boom all right i want to show you i want to save these uh details right here these are how we arrange the battery system that has an iba system on it so usually I save this for reason, but it's really it's a part of what I'm gonna do. So uh, so we we go here and um all right we're gonna know uh all right look here this is the information that I want to know really and truly I want to know what is the current state of the battery ampere ampere rating or the current battery ampere rating uh, ampere <laughs> ampere amp hour rating in the car. All right, and it tells us right here it's 90. 90 AH AGM. It's a 90 ampere, ampere hour rating battery in it right now. All right, and then the last battery exchange at distant reading is 28,700 kilometers. I just make a register exchange at this mileage right here. So, therefore, um, this is why I'm doing the service function to show people how you can do it because sometimes BMW give you a choice. All right, and so on. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to end the service function for this right here. I see what I want to see that thing there that says 90 ah agm all right and then we go here and run this one register battery exchange then we go here <coughs> oh boy and as you can see here this thing is called the ibs is a block thing whenever you're changing this thing on the car when you take it off just make sure you do not drop it if you drop it it's going to be damaged inside because electronics inside they're very delicate and so on okay and this is what measures the battery state of charge as well as the temperature and so on and so forth all right it also evaluates the state of charge and temperature of the battery and so on that's called ibs intelligent battery sensor all right razor battery exchange all right boom so um all right the car must be turned off the engine must not be running but terminal 50 must be switched on like it says right here in the next in the next test step the battery exchange is entered produce the following state engine off and terminal terminal 15 on all right currently this is what you need to know what current state of batteries in the car currently registered battery capacity in the dme or ddd is a 90 ampere hour rating all right 
This car has a 90, this, this, this battery was replaced with a 95 ampere battery right here, this one. And there's the capacity right there, the NAH right here, 95, 95 ampere hour in it, all right? Good. And this one has cold cranking amps of roughly 900 and cranking amps of 1000, okay? So we can see it's a 95 ampere hour battery. And this is not the original Rolls Royce battery, so um, we're going to click enter battery actually the same capacity if it's a different capacity we're gonna go here all right cool we're gonna read right here installation of a battery with higher or lower capacity all right people what they call higher capacity or lower capacity is referring to the ah the ampere hour rating whether it be 95 or 80 or 90 or 100 or 105 or 110 so that's what they call the capacity here, higher or lower capacity. All right, it said installation of a battery with higher or lower capacity or installation of an AGM or an EF battery instead of the normal lead acid battery must be entered in the vehicle. The power management with IBS can only work only if the correct battery capacity is stored in the engine electronics. All right, it says right here, it should carry out the following retrofitting, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the retrofitting part, we'd have to actually go in this to D to do that. So um, let's just see if we can. Um... All right. Since it's not an original Rolls Royce battery, it tells us right here. Is a newly installed battery an original Rolls Royce battery? And our um, our guy here tell us, nope. Is it right here? Nope. All right. Boom. Uh, I think I I think I asked him. Uh, he said, he said, right here, it's not original. All right. It's not original, so. We're going to say no, because if it's original, we click yes. We have to put in all these nonsense here, right here and shit. So we'll just click no. All right. Please. Battery exchange is entered. Please wait. All right. So the battery exchange was successfully entered. You said to register the new battery size or the other battery type, carry out the following retrofit you know in the programming system. All right. Let's just go fishing here. All right, that is finished. All right, we're going to set the time here now, and so on. And time is now is 3.16, and it's uh, date October 10, blah, blah, blah. Service function is finished. So they said right here, go to vehicle modification, and then we'll go here to retrofit. It. Okay, it's calculating measure plan first, so we have to wait. All right? It's calculating measure plan. After it's finished calculating measure plan, we we'll wait. I'm going to go there in um, retrofit. To find out if they have different types of uh, battery ampere or rating numbers there, by which I can choose one of those capacities for 905, okay? Because we actually put a 95 there, but we actually register it back over with the old 90 ampere hour rating battery that was currently in the car, all right? So we wait. In the meantime, we can go over to the, um, the vehicle information and then we go to vehicle details here, vehicle uh, equipment. We can go down to the bottom and look at what battery was coming out of the car from factory. Usually, it's there somewhere, you know. It usually be at the bottom here. I just don't know. It usually is called. It usually is here. It's just that I can't find it. You know, it's all up an element for it. I don't remember, man. It just. All right, I think I can find this thing. Mm hmm. I don't know where the shit is at. Um, we'll go to operation report. Operations report all this kind of information of the vehicle details and usually of the um the type of battery uh that came with the car from factory. It tells you right here somewhere in the vehicle details where it has uh type of battery. It usually be I usually see this information. Right here in operations report. I just can't remember exactly where in it.
are all these things right here is what we do on the car. In operations, report to store the vehicle details, equipment, the time you read out the car, plus all these ABL uh, procedures that we run previously, such as this one here that says on seven. Uh, you know, procedure evaluate the battery state of charge and so on. And uh, these are the details of its of its doing. It tells you right here the procedure, the, the details that are in it, and so on and so forth, and, and blah blah. And then uh, it shows another one here, service schedule, test schedule, where they have this one here, register battery exchange, and so on, blah blah blah. And here's the ABL for it, procedure on number nine, and so on and blah blah blah. So uh, all right, we're gonna go back here to um, vehicle management, and then all right. All right, you see, we have a 95 ampere hour, so we can't really choose this one as a retrofit for it because uh, it's it's gonna be too much, you know. The uh, the alternator is gonna make too much output for perhaps a 105 ampere or AGM battery than it would have made for a 90. So we can't choose it for a 90. It's gonna be too much, so we just leave that out. We do not retrofit the 105 ampere hour for a 95 ampere hour uh, rating because it's gonna be too much. It's going to be a 10 ampere hour difference, you know, and uh, it can cause battery to get hot and explode and shit. So we ain't going to do that crap. All right, boom. All right, it's kind of finished now, so... Uh, Okay, shit, let me go back to operations report. I gotta save this shit. It keeps what we do on the car. We, keep, we need to keep this report right here. It tells us what we do on the car. So, uh... Alrighty then. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so far, so good. We did that, so this is it right here. So, yeah, we go back to the top. Woo! Ah, uh, buddy. All right, we don't do that. That service function went goody, 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 goody. All right, so we uh, we click Control Unit 3. All right, what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to over the uh, vehicle management. We're going to delete this fault codes here. We're going to click Delete. Boom, shakalak. Need something to drink. Man, I'm hungry. Ah. Okay, YouTubers, all right, we just performed a battery exchange registration and in the Rolls Royce RR5 2013, so um, so far so good. Um, he said the vehicle just come from a body shop and he just was sent there to register a new battery, so therefore certain follicles remain. And we're going to mess around with those, so um, so far so good. Um, mm -hmm. All right, remember to subscribe. I am out. Boom.